previously on Assassin's Creed. Ah! The Aquila flies again! Where is Charles Lee? Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. I've managed to locate a power source. Now! That wasn't so bad. So, you must be Desmond. So you've got to the... Oh! troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Connor, spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganon Dogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What if the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Ah. Uh. I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. Living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, or the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Connor, what are you doing? 
Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that, and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land he purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Don't know. Don't much care neither. Beat skulking around these woods. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty on account of that woman you put a hole in? Nah, nah. She had it coming. What's she dressed like that for anyway? It's not natural. Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Spare me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept. brings you to Boston. You. Would you excuse us, fellows? That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's my home, no matter what you thieves call taxmen say. If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves. 
It's not open for discussion. Now open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! The bollocks. We're coming in. Ah! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Head back to the docks, and see to the destruction of the tea. Ah! Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed! Oh, me payer ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine. Stefan, please! Stop and listen to me! I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. There is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. Destroyed? You stupid mongrel. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted. Nonsense. 
Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll oh. gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Bloody hell are you! <laughs> Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And he's suffering cleanly. Please. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. In the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
Connor? We saved the last one for you. We get out of here, huh? It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. <sighs> Time will tell if you speak the truth. Ladun Hagedum! Why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Izi na kanya daradi kanusu de ne Johnson si unja daro rocks tha. Kwa hi kanzi wat ne kanun hara dum na ge dum. Ta kwa der hara kwa kanto. Yes. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Oh, no. 
What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Ayawas ne yate hagum sare, am dahiyayum eskanas izagum hajjah.